Lucid dreaming the easy way. Don't click away and don't assume this is clickbait or something. It's not clickbait. This is a new technique I've developed called the net technique. My name's Steph, I teach lucid dreaming and consciousness, and this technique is kind of a collection of different things you can do that will stack the odds so much in your favor that you'll be very likely to lucid dream. Now, I'm not gonna put a, a time limit on this. I'm not gonna say you'll lucid dream in 10 seconds, you'll lucid dream in one week, because it really does depend on from person to person. This is my latest and easiest technique for you to lucid dream. So pay attention, grab a coffee, and uh, leave a comment or say hi in the, in the comments below, and I'll try and reply to everyone. Now, importantly, this technique does not rely on waking up early. You won't be setting any alarms and you won't be having to take supplements. You listen to binaural beats or listen to any kind of uh, guided hypnosis tracks or anything like that. This is a very easy technique. So if you want to lucid dream basically within a week or so, this is the best technique for beginners to learn how to lucid dream. I'm gonna break it down into several sections. The net technique for lucid dreaming is basically comprised of several sections. And those sections are dream symbology, visualization and incubation of the dream scene, inspiration, awareness during the day, and then finally, the fifth part is the low hanging fruit. This is what we could say is the easiest changes to make that will give you the biggest results. Things that you could just very easily change today and it will make you more likely to lucid dream. So let's just get right into the first one. So dream symbols, you must recognize what your dream symbols are. It goes without saying that you should be writing your dreams down in a journal, you should be highlighting your dream symbols and you should be typing up your dream journal into a computer. So you can then search back and see what your most commonly used words are. This will let you see which dream symbols are important and they're kind of like signposts to becoming lucid when you really have a lot of them written down. Am I talking too fast? I can't tell. <laughs> Leave a comment letting me know what you think about this, by the way, at the end or during the video. Now, regarding your dream symbols, once you know what your dream signs are, as in the most commonly dreamed about things, you need to start putting stickers or post-it notes on those symbols in your room or in your house. Now, this only applies to dream signs that are in your house uh, or in your work, if you're allowed to do that, you know, like on your desk or something. Don't go sticking post-it notes on your friends or, or your pets or anything like that. I'm sure they won't like that. But anything that you can put a sticker on within your house, put a sticker that says, am I dreaming? And that's gonna make it likely that when you see that in the dream, you will do a reality check and question whether you're dreaming or not. Also goes without saying that you should be doing regular reality checks anyway. I do have a lucid dreaming app, just type in how to lucid to the iPhone store. Uh, I've made a video about that. Remind yourself to do reality checks throughout the day as well as putting the stickers on your dream signs and symbols, okay? And now focus on your perspective memory. So of course you can't put stickers on every dream sign because your friends wouldn't like that. Uh, and the dream signs might be weird. So spend a few minutes every day just thinking about the dream signs that you can't put stickers on, like the weird things. Let's say if you always see cows in your dream walking down the road, focus on visualizing cows and then focus on looking at a cow with your hands in the foreground as you're doing a reality check with the cow in the background. Let's say if it's a car, a red car, you visualize a red car and then in the same visualization you imagine or visualize your hands doing a reality check in front of the dream sign or the symbol. Um, so do that a few minutes per day and that's gonna trigger your prospective memory. So at the same time as doing that, you need to tell yourself, when I next see this dream sign, I will do a reality check. Next up, we have visualization and incubation. Bear in mind, this is part of the net technique and these are five things, five pillars of the net technique which are gonna make it more likely your lucid dream. They are easy, but you need to do all of them. The visualization, very easy. You can do this at the same time as you do the perspective reality check thing. Uh, just visualize yourself in a dream scene, becoming lucid in the dream scene. So just imagine you're walking down a beach and you look down at your hands, you realize, oh, okay, I'm dreaming. Uh, and then you imagine yourself going about your lucid dream and doing whatever you want to do in the lucid dream. Very simple, you don't need to do this too often. You can just do this twice a day or so, um, maybe even just once, just before you go to bed. And now the inspiration. Your dreams are made up of many different things, but part of the dreams are made up of what's called day residue, memories of what you've done or watched during the day. Now films, believe it or not, have a big impact on that. And if you watch a film, uh, you probably know from experience, if you watch exciting, crazy films, you'll usually have a dream about those films uh, the same night or the night after or something like that. Um, specifically with vivid or emotionally engaging films. I found that I w had a lucid dream the day after I watched Chronicle, which is about a guy developing telekinesis powers because of the telekinesis. I, that's what I do in my lucid dreams. Um, so find a film that evokes an emotional reaction within you. It could be a superhero film, a sci-fi film, but you don't want to have a horror film because that's going to have the opposite effect. And then watch that film, or at least just a clip of that film, before you go to bed. The fourth pillar of the net technique is awareness. 
Focus on raising your awareness during the day, and you can do this in several ways. So here's a crash course, okay? Meditate in the morning for 10 minutes. You can also meditate five minutes in the evening. Do reality checks throughout the day. Like I said, I have a Lucid Dreaming app. Type in how to Lucid to the iPhone app store. Put stickers everywhere that you often see things. Like for example, really good places to place stickers are above a light switch, on a mirror, on doorways, and also on your phone. You could put something on your phone background that just says, are you dreaming? Um, I had some like phone background wallpapers made, which say, are you dreaming with a nice graphic? Uh, and I'm gonna make them available to you for free. Try and click the link in the description. They should be there. And also as much as you can, try and be more mindful when you're doing things. Let's say if you're eating, try and really be mindful of the foods and the tastes you're experiencing. If you're listening to music, try and not just hear the overall track, but try and pick out the individual instruments. Try and pick out the bass line, the drum loop. And this will basically raise your awareness and make you more alert and aware of what's going on around you. So you're not in autopilot. Autopilot is the enemy of lucid dreaming, okay? You do not want to be doing things automatically. You want to be really conscious about what you're doing. And then finally, the fifth pillar of the net technique for lucid dreaming is the low hanging fruit. The things that are really easy to change and do that will give you more lucid dreams and make it more likely. The first one is every single time you wake up, the first thing you should do is a reality check. Why? Because many people experience what are called false awakenings. This is where you dream about waking up and then you're snapped back into the bed and you have the same thing again. Sometimes this can happen for five or 10 times where you keep dreaming about waking up and going back to bed. If you make sure you reality check as soon as you wake up every morning, you will never have a false awakening again. Or it'd be very unlikely because you will always do the reality check, it'll become a habit. And then every time you would have had a false awakening, you just do a reality check and become lucid. It's gonna give you maybe one or two extra lucid dreams per month. It's definitely worth doing because it's so easy and it takes so little time to do that. And next thing, this is kind of to do with dream recall, but it will help you remember more dreams and therefore remember more lucid dreams. They definitely are correlated. So when you wake up in the morning, make sure you do not open your eyes until you have a clear picture in your head, in your conscious mind, at the front of your brain, of what you just dreamt about. If you open your eyes and then try and remember the dream, you're basically flooding your subconscious mind with all sorts of other things that will distract you and sort of overwrite the dream memory. Okay, so remember our subconscious mind takes in 11 million pieces of information per second all the time. So if you have your eyes closed, you're gonna massively limit information going into your subconscious so you can focus on remembering your dream first. Do that every morning, I guarantee you'll remember more dreams. You can also take a multivitamin to boost your dream recall. I found that's quite effective, but it's really hard to say when you're doing all of these things, it's kind of hard to say which specific thing actually gave you the lucid dream. It doesn't matter. You don't need to know which one gave you the lucid dream because they're all really good habits. They all will contribute to you lucid dreaming. And if you imagine this technique is like a hand, okay? Five pillars like, are like the five fingers that are gonna hold up your lucid dream and kind of make it very likely that you will lucid dream, I would say within a week. I mean, I can't say for everyone, but certainly when I uh, put this idea together, it was kind of like an experiment of, you know, how can I have a lucid dream with a new technique as quickly as possible? I have an advantage because I'm already a lucid dreamer, but it worked pretty fast. I think on day four, I had a lucid dream just from doing these things. If you want to take this as kind of like a challenge and you want to guarantee that your lucid dream within a month, then I do have a printable template that you can actually stick on your fridge. It tells you really specific and kind of unusual exercises actually to practice every single day for 30 days. It's really detailed guide. It's called the Lucid Dreaming Bootcamp. You can check that out in the description. And I would love to hear in the comments what you think about this technique and what type of videos you think I should make in the future.